Hey everybody, Gage here from Sharp. Excited to have you with me today to revisit the age-old question, which is better, carbon or stainless? Or I guess the more important question to ask would be, which is better for you? So I'm sure most of you are familiar with the stainless steels that make up about 99% of the European style knives that are most popular here in North America. Now, with that said, most of these steels are much less popular in other parts of the world like Asia, and for good reason. While both carbon and stainless have their pros and cons, and neither are perfect, we today are going to touch on some of the things that you are looking for in a knife, and what you are willing to put up with in order to get it. First, we're going to talk about carbon steels. Now, carbon steels are reactive and can rust and discolor if they're not properly maintained. However, after weeks of proper care and use, they will develop what's called a patina, or a slight darkening of the steel, which is very helpful to protect the knife from rust and discoloration in the future. It's also important to note that if you do ever uh, experience any rust or discoloration on your carbon steel knife, it is very easy to get rid of and start fresh. So now that we've talked about the cons in owning a carbon steel knife, it's time to talk about the numerous positives in owning a carbon steel knife. Carbon steels are much, much easier to sharpen. They jump back to life on a ceramic honing rod, much better than a stainless ever will. They take a finer edge, and they are generally much more affordable than a stainless steel knife with similar performance. Now, while there are stainless super steels out there, pew, 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 they require a lot more time and effort to produce, which drives up the cost considerably. Okay, now back to stainless steels. And before we talk about them any further, we're going to make the distinction between European stainless steels and the high quality Japanese stainless steels that we carry here at the shop. Both are great for rust resistance and because of the chromium added to make a steel well stainless, it helps to give the steel added toughness, which makes the steel less brittle and less prone to chipping. Now where Japanese stainless steels pull ahead of their European stainless steel counterparts is the carbon content in the steel. Japanese stainless steels have a higher carbon content, which contributes to much better edge retention. Furthermore, Japanese steel manufacturers have been producing extremely hard tool steels, such as ZDP-189, HAP-40, and R2, to name a few, which have extremely high Rockwell hardnesses, upwards of 65. This Rockwell hardness, in theory, will contribute to a much better edge retention than even most carbon steels. The downfall of these super stainless steels is the difficulty in sharpening them. Because of how hard they are, they require a lower grit stone and more time on each stone through your progression in order to remove the material necessary to properly sharpen them. Even with the adequate tools, it can be very difficult to achieve an edge on par with the edge that's, uh, that you're able to achieve on a carbon steel. Now this isn't to say that they get less sharp, but it is to say that it is more difficult to get a super stainless steel as sharp as a carbon steel. And we would argue that this isn't a task to be undertaken by the beginner sharpener. Now with that said, as your sharpening improves and you are able to properly sharpen a super stainless steel, or if you have access to someone who can properly sharpen a super stainless steel for you, the performance and rust resistance found in these knives is hard to beat. Okay, so to summarize here guys, there really is a knife out there for everyone. If you're looking for a really easy to maintain, no must, no fuss knife, go with a fully stainless steel. If you're looking for something relatively easy to maintain, but that will jump back to life on either a honing rod or a stone while you're at work or before work, go with a carbon steel knife with a stainless cladding. If you're really looking to geek out with your knife journey, screwing around with uh, sharpening, kasumi finishes, polishing, all that fun stuff, go with a carbon steel knife with a soft iron cladding. So there you have it guys, that's our take on the differences between carbon and stainless steels. If there's anything that we didn't touch on, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more knife related content. And until the next video, stay sharp.